In my hands here is the Lenovo IdeaPad Tablet K1, one of a number of 10-inch Android 3.0 tablets that hit the market in recent times. Let's take a closer look to see how it compares. As already mentioned, this is a 10-inch tablet and it has a 1280 by 800 resolution, which is pretty much the same as most of the other 10-inch Android tablets out there at the moment. It's also got what I think is a rather nice design. On the back, it's got a sort of textured surface, which is nice to keep hold of, and the general construction feels pretty solid. The basic interface is the normal Android 3.0 operating system. However, Lenovo have applied some of their own tweaks. For example, on the main home screen, there are these four large icons to email, watch, listen and read, and also one in the middle which launches the web browser. Lenovo has also added its own app switcher. Just hit the icon in the middle down here, and then it appears on the right hand side of the screen and you simply scroll through the apps and then click on the one you want to use. This is quite unusual though because Android has its own system for switching through apps as well, which you can still use, so you have a choice of two ways to do it. Lenovo hasn't been stingy with the connectivity on this tablet either. If we look on one side, we've got standard controls like a power button, volume controls, and a little switch for locking the orientation of the screen. Now there's also a SIM card slot if you've got built-in 3G. If we look on the other side, meanwhile, we can find that there's an integrated memory card slot, and on the bottom, including this main docking port, is a mini HDMI output and a headphone jack. We haven't got full pricing or availability information for the UK just yet, but do head over to our website at witch.co.uk forward slash tech daily for our full impressions of this tablet and for all the other news from IFA 2011 here in Berlin.